Hello, I'm High Heel Knight. This is my 90s time traveler discovers Apple Vision Pro reaction. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Three, two, one. It's the 90s. The year is 1997. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with our time traveling reporter who's reporting live from the year 2024. Yeah, hi, I would actually just love to come home. A child just informed me that I have negative riz and I don't think my health insurance covers that. Well, did you get the gift we sent you through the time machine? You mean it's working again? Yeah, well, it was. It exploded right after we used it. Oh, but we sent you a VHS tape of the Jerry Springer show just to tell you we're thinking about you. Yeah, even if I wanted to watch that I have no idea where to find a VCR anymore. So what's the hot news of the future? Well, each of the last 10 years has been hotter than any previous year on record. Boring, what else? Oh, there's a new Apple product people won't shut up about. Uh, are people tired of Granny Smiths and Red Deliciouses? Okay, <laughs> no, you have Apple in the 90s, you know what I'm talking about. Well, there's that computer company, but I figure you wouldn't be talking about them in the future, they're about to go bankrupt. Yeah, I mean, they were about to in the late 90s, but then they get really good at branding, and now they're more powerful than most governments. Oh, my God. Yeah, now they have a computer you put right over your eyeballs. Did a new study come out saying it's okay to stare at screens up close? No. Uh-oh. So actually a company <laughs> called Google tried something similar in 2013, but everyone thought it looked stupid, so that didn't work out. Okay, so the new Apple one must look awesome. No, actually they look like this. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that reaction makes sense. And what's so special about this thing? Is it that it doubles as ski goggles? No, this freaking thing puts me in a virtual reality so I can look at stuff that's not there. Like what? Well, for example, right now I'm looking at a little piggy. Nice. But once I turn on the device, your face is gone, and I'm on Mars. Hey! Otherwise, it creates a way for people to do computer stuff while they drive or operate heavy machinery. Sounds kind of dangerous. And those hellish eyes, are those your actual eyes? No. So I have no idea where you're actually looking. You could be ogling my body right now. While ogling other bodies on the internet, that's right, I can really multitask my ogling now. Oh, this is actually kind of intense. It seems like the boundaries between reality and... Okay, can you not point at me like that? I'm actually typing. This is how you type with this thing. Oh, you crab type? No, this isn't crab related at all, unless I'm typing the word crab, which I am. I think we can all agree <laughs> that movement deserves a crab related name. Actually, that cute folksy view of technology we had back in the 90s has been kind of replaced by a fear of AI murders. Those eyes do look like something you see right before you die. Speaking of which, I'm currently looking at an artist's rendering of how you die in 2004. What? Yeah, they really got the splintering bone part down. What do you mean? But anyway, people are saying this could really transform our lives forever, but mark my words, it'll come at a cost. You mean like total loss of social interaction or neck posture? No, I mean it costs $3,000. <laughs> what? Yeah, that was people's reaction when Apple announced it too. So only the extremely wealthy are gonna wear this. Yeah, but when they do, they'll be very easy to steal. Well, how'd you get that one? <laughs> it was very easy to steal. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Are you at all worried that people are gonna spend too much time in virtual reality? Yeah, I do shudder to think about what this could do to people psychologically, let alone the tan lines, and I would just love to come home. Oh, there's gotta be some <laughs> silver lining here. Hold on, this looks new. What are you looking at? I, uh, I, I'm looking at... <laughs> Hello? Uh, uh, Time traveling reporter, what are you... Whoa. Hey, welcome back to the 90s, buddy. Everything's gonna be okay. You look hungry, my friend. Here, have a gusher. <laughs> Well, looks like board. there's a call for you on the landline. It's Tony Hawk. The worst thing that could ever happen is Y2K. Life was so simple. Time traveling reporter, can you hear me? Oh, I'm sorry, I briefly lost touch with reality there. But you're back now, you're good? Well, actually, now real life seems extremely bleak and I'm addicted to the escape. Oh, holy sh- <laughs> Ooh, $3,000, no thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for watching my reaction. Like, when it's try, comment, share, find inspiration everywhere.